Hey everybody, Brendan Coates here in front of the whiteboard. I'm gonna to share today in this video the top 10 mistakes vacationers make when traveling to a sunny, warm climate. If you don't know, I just got back from Jamaica a couple of weeks ago and I saw these very same people making the same mistakes. Little backstory about me, I used to live in Jamaica, I used to live in the Cayman Islands, so I'm quite well versed in living in a hot climate and avoiding these mistakes. If you don't know who I am, my name is Brendan Coates. I'm known as the Gut Whisperer, and my mission is to teach you the fundamentals of gut health and how to optimize your health, and ultimately, when you achieve good gut health, the rest of your body, the rest of your health gets better. So let's begin. Top 10 mistakes vacationers make when traveling to a warm destination. Now, this top one, it's kind of like half. It's got a little bit of an asterisk because sometimes it can be unavoidable, but for the most part, it is. Sunburn. Traveler's diarrhea, alcohol poisoning, overeating, exercise or lack of exercise, not enough water, food combining, no sleep, and again with this one's a little bit of an asterisk, traveler's constipation, and finally packing vitamins. So many of these mistakes can be avoided if you are an experienced traveler. It's always a challenge, it's always very overwhelming, but all of these things can be avoided and I'm going to explain right now. So the first one, we got to really understand like all of these are preventable. Literally, all of these are preventable. Number two, you don't have to rely on anyone. All of these depend on you. You are responsible for your actions and inactions. It's a choice. You have a choice to stay in the sun too long. It's your choice to eat like shit. It's a choice to drink alcohol. Like no one's forcing it down your throat. I mean, unless you're in like Cancun at like Senior Frogs and you got some hot waitress just like pouring alcohol. But I digress. Overeating, no one's force feeding you. Exercise or lack of exercise. In most cases, if you're on like a, a all-inclusive vacation destination, they have amazing gym facilities. Not enough water, that's a big mistake. You should be drinking more water. Food combining, eating like shit, eating like an absolute pig at the buffet. No sleep, this should be an opportunity to sleep. Get lots of plenty of rest, nap during the day. Traveler's constipation, now this one can be somewhat avoidable. And if you stick with me to the end, I'm gonna share with you these two hacks that I did, my top two favorite things to consume in lieu of everything else when I'm on vacation. And finally, again, packing vitamins. Like, all of this is dependent on moderation. And all of this is dependent on living in accordance to your goals. It's crazy, if you need a vacation, after your vacation, you're doing it completely wrong. Like, what are you escaping from? Yeah, sure, you've got a nine to five, maybe you've got family, whatever, you, whatever the case may be, you shouldn't be literally escaping and just like drinking like a fish, getting absolutely shit-faced every single day, getting sunburnt, eating like shit, not exercising, not getting rest when you're on vacation. The whole point of a vacation is to magnify your existing life and just do more of it when you're on vacation. If you like to exercise, exercise more. If you like to get the sun, get some more sun. If you like to nap, get some more napping. If you like to read, read more. And then plus some excursions and some activities when you're on vacation as well. Feeling guilty and feeling like shit. Again, that's all dependent on you. And finally, when you drink too much or you get a sunburn, the vacation's completely ruined. I've seen so many people do that before. They're absolutely miserable. They're not even talking to their family members at anymore. At the airport, they're pissed. They just want to get home. That's not a vacation. Ultimately, what does it come down to? It all comes down to really self-respect. If you respect yourself, then you're not gonna have any of these things happen to you because you're not gonna drink like shit, you're not gonna eat like shit, you're not gonna get sunburnt. You know that you're gonna be exposed to a hot, hot sun. Don't get sunburnt. Enjoy the sun, everything in moderation. Moderation. Okay, so if you've stuck with me, I'm gonna give you some tips, some things that you can execute right now to prevent a miserable vacation. Number one, before you leave, here, this is, this is big for, for getting sunburned. If you are prone to getting sunburned, I want you to take for at least three weeks leading up to your vacation four grams 
of fish oils. This is one of the things that I learned before I moved to Jamaica and when I was living in the Cayman Islands. The more I consumed healthy fish oils, the more my skin got somewhat naturally lubricated and it ultimately prevented me from burning. Number two, I, now I wish I took a video of this, but I didn't. Every single time I'm on vacation, I do this at least twice to three times. I go right to the beach and I get sand and I just literally scrub my entire body with sand. What I'm doing is I'm exfoliating all of the dead skin cells and I'm allowing my skin to really absorb all of the sun. Now, once you've done that, don't be out in the sun too long because your skin is fresh and it's going to soak up all that sun. But this is a great way to get a nice deep dark tan. But again, you've got to be careful, but it's so, so healthy and I absolutely love doing it. Why go to a spa and spend like hundred plus dollars on uh, exfoliation when you can just go to the beach and just exfoliate naturally. Alcohol, limit your alcohol consumption. It's not that hard. Sure, you're on vacation. Sure, you can enjoy. Of course, of course, I implore you to, but take it easy and definitely do not over drink in the first couple days because if you're hung over on the first day or the second days and you're exposed to the sun, you're going to feel like shit. Your whole trip is going to be miserable. So honestly, pace yourself and do not overindulge. Eating. Again, you've got a whole, let's say you're at an all-inclusive and you're at all of the choices of the food. Just keep it simple. Keep your fruit completely alone. Do not eat fruit with any meat. Keep it away from everything else. Enjoy the fruit, just keep it away from meat and other food combinations. The meat, just eat lots of it. Enjoy the meat. All of those carbs, they're not going to serve you. You're going to feel like shit in the sun. Stay away from the carbs and the processed carbs and the, and, the, and the goodies and the treats and the baked goods and all that stuff. Just stay away. Just eat good quality meat and lots of fruit. Enjoy the fruit when you're on vacation. Just keep them away from any other food combinations. Exercise daily. It's so easy to exercise. It should be fun to exercise. These are opportunities for you to wake up early, get some sunshine, get the sunrise, go for a walk or a run on the beach. Use the gym. If you don't get a chance to use the gym regularly at home, use the gym at the, gy at, at the vacation. It should be an awesome experience for you to enjoy and really treat yourself, treat your body. That's the mentality that you need to have. Don't treat it to a bunch of shit and garbage. Don't poison your body. Treat your body, reward your body, heal your body when you're on vacation. Bring a water bottle. I've got a big Yeti. It's so easy, always filling it up, always staying hydrated. Now, depending on where you are, you might want to stay away from tap water. You might want to buy some additional big bottles of reverse osmosis water. Whatever the case may be, you've got to stay hydrated. You're sweating more in the heat. So drink tons and tons of water, at least three liters of water every day. And that will really protect your liver and your kidneys if you're drinking alcohol. Fruits, I've already mentioned that. Eat them alone, away from everything. Sun and moon cycle for better sleep. Stay awake when the sun is up. Once the moon, goes, once the moon comes up, go to bed. Just rest. Find a hammock, go to the beach, just rest. Treat your body to the natural circadian rhythms of the sun and the moon. Stress management. This is a big one, especially when you've got a, a traveler's constipation, okay? Take magnesium and try to rest. Try to breathe. It's very, very stressful. It's very overwhelming sometimes. I myself found traveling to be very stressful and I know a lot of people that experience constipation. So take some magnesium citrate before the flight and right when you're at the airport and when you get home that'll, or to the hotel. That'll help with healthy bowel movements. Now, if you've stuck with me, I'm going to share with you my two favorite supplements that I took on vacation and the two top supplements that you should be taking in addition to obviously the fish oils. Here's the first one. This is Saccharomyosin. This is a beneficial probiotic. I, it's also known as the traveler's probiotic. And this will prevent you from getting constipated. And this will prevent you from getting traveler's diarrhea. I'm just going to read out some of the benefits. I've got a whole bunch. So again, it's called Saccharomyces boulardii. It's a type of yeast that comes from skin of the leech of lychee. Um, Saccharomyces helped so many cases of gastrointestinal disorders, diarrhea. Uh, it helps with the immune system. It helps uh, with the digestive process. Uh, anyone who's got uh, ulcerative colitis, for example, that helps with the removal of all the inflammation. Uh, it is a robust yeast that helps with the, 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 or the, the beneficial bacteria, the pathogenic bacteria, and the opportunistic bacteria, especially in remote tropical areas. So this bacteria really helps keep everything in balance. 
This is hands down the best supplement to take before, during, and after your vacation to prevent constipation and to prevent traveler's diarrhea. I know so many people, so many families that have diarrhea during their vacation and it's completely spoiled the vacation. I know the feeling. Gas, bloating, you don't know when you're gonna go. This literally is going to be your golden ticket before you go on vacation, during your vacation, and after vacation. Literally, it'll help prevent traveler's diarrhea and constipation. So that's number one. Number two is desiccated liver. This ultimately replaces all of your big spectrum multivitamin. And you don't want to be getting a multivitamin because it's shit anyways. The, the bioavailability in a multivitamin is so, so small, so, so, so minute. And the amount of bioavailability with desiccated liver is far, far superior. Listen, it's got vitamin A, retinol, alpha carotene, beta carotene, vitamin C, vitamin D, vitamin E, vitamin K. Vitamin K, you're not going to get that from anything else. Okay, niacin, B6, folate, B12, choline, calcium, iron, phosphorus, potassium, sodium, zinc. All, copper, manganese, selenium, all of this is found in desiccated liver. So when I went on vacation, I didn't take any of my supplements other than my desiccated liver. It's so, so easy to pack and it makes you feel great and it supports your liver, right? When you consume liver, it supports your liver, especially if you are indulging in alcoholic beverages. So support your liver. So again, if you stuck around, I'm going to add two links where you can actually purchase those directly. Purchase, you can get the, the Saccharomyces boulardii, the beneficial bacteria the traveler's bacteria, and also the desiccated liver. Again, if you like this, please share this with a friend. Please hit a like. Please hit a comment. Maybe share with you your experience with traveling, if you used any of these, or if you plan on using any of these in the near future. Again, my name is Brendan. I'm the Gut Whisperer. Thanks so much for tuning in. Until next time.